lot of build up to a wedding. A lot of preparation goes into it. You often hear the comparison, it was like putting on a wedding. Well, this was like putting on a wedding. And I got a witness, Martha and her friends, come together and work together towards this common goal. And uh, it was beautiful seeing them interact together for this common cause. I, I'm honored to be asked to do this study ceremony. I've known both John and Martha individually for over 20 years. And uh, I know when Martha came to the islands, uh, she made an impact. She's so nice. As Becca was saying earlier, when we play Ultimate Frisbee together, it's a team sport, seven on seven. It's kind of like basketball for those of you who don't know. And if Martha fouled you, which means you inadvertently hit somebody when you're doing throwing a frisbee or something, she says, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, and, I, and nobody ever apologizes like that. And so sincere, right? And uh, so we knew she was different. It was that Southern hospitality that really came through. And uh, she has those values, those core values. And I know she has faith. It's something beyond herself. Because she agreed to have me do this. <laughs> and I know that's got to be scary. So I'm going to do my best to try to please everybody with whatever I have to see up here. But I've, I've really never felt so good about two people hooking up. Or getting married, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> but had it been just that, I, that would have been fine, right? But uh, John and Martha seemed so well suited for each other. And I think they knew it, probably. Maybe John did. Uh, uh, way back when. And uh, But the timing was not right. But the timing was right now. And as often is the case with men and women, John knew it before Martha did. In fact, after their first date, John went to kiss her, and you know what he got? He got a forehead. <laughs> Which is, you know, right, Dad? Just 